Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am gonna try to do this video today um, and see how I go. I'm not sure if I will end up posting it, but we're gonna try. So I want to talk about today why I am no contact with both my parents. I'm gonna try to do this without crying. But I feel like the reason I really want to do this video, I'm also going to do my makeup because I don't want to just sit here and talk and I want to like do something. So we're also going to do my makeup. Um, but the main reason I want to do this video is because I have had a lot of people ask me to talk about this. And it's kind of one of those things that I haven't felt like I was ready to talk about. Um, also, I feel like... I, I don't know, I just, I don't want anyone to see it who could try to use it to manipulate me. I don't know, there's just a lot of reasons. And I've thought about it a lot and I feel like it's time because I feel like I'm gonna be a mom and I wanna have, you know, confidence in my decisions and I am very confident in this decision that I've made. But I also just feel like I want to help anybody else that has been struggling with this um it's not easy I want to just say that first of all and I just want to be I don't know kind of give anybody confidence to stick with their decision or not stick with their decision whatever you feel like is best for you but I just want to share my experience my current experience um and just kind of talk about this I don't know if you can tell I'm very <laughs> uncomfortable about this um I talk about this a lot and obviously Blake has been through basically this whole thing with me so um I'm definitely not alone in this and it helps a lot to have a good support system and really good friends but anyways I guess we'll just get into it and see where this goes so like I said this was not an easy decision and it was not an abrupt one either um, I've actually stopped talking to one of my parents years ago and then we re started talking again when one of my grandpas got sick, which is not a reason to start talking to somebody again, but, but I kind of just went with whatever was happening and things happened and we started talking again and we had a big conversation about why I had stopped speaking to them in the first place and I thought we had kind of resolved everything and it took about two years for them to basically kind of mask and learn all the things all the reasons why I'd stopped talking to them and then basically try to not do them until like they were comfortable again and I'll just kind of like blanket statement that I, I grew up in a house it was not a bad childhood I will just say that my childhood was not bad and I didn't think it was bad as I was going through it. I did have a lot of hard times in high school. I did not like being living at home. I did not like my parents. I did not like their dynamic. I did not like, I just felt very trapped at home. I felt like I was very alone. I always pretty much had a boyfriend growing up because I really wanted someone to constantly, like be a constant for me. Cause I felt like and again, this is just my experience. My parents can have completely different experiences and that's fine. But this is just how I've experienced and kind of recollected on everything. And I feel like I really like sought out um, love and an affection from boyfriends. And I usually had about one best friend all the time. And, um, and even that like dating I was like not allowed to or whatever but I did anyways and I just really needed someone I felt very safe in relationships because I knew that I had somebody who was like always in my corner and I didn't feel like that at home I felt like my parents were fighting and then they were always fighting with me I was a problem all these things so I don't, know, I don't really want to get too much into that but I don't know if it's important um but yeah so I just I felt very much by myself growing up my brother and I were a pretty big age gap so it's kind of hard to you know when he's like four years younger than you it's just like different age gap different everything um and we kind of you know band together a lot <laughs> but again we were just big age gap so you know I after leaving for college and stuff 
my parents really used money to kind of control me. I did have a scholarship for college um, for volleyball, but very much if I didn't answer a phone call, they would take all the money out of my bank account. Um, just the small examples like that. And I felt like I was always in trouble all the time, which I usually was for things that I didn't really feel like I, like I would always ask, okay, well, why am I in trouble? And then I would always get the answer because I said so, or, you know, just stuff like that. So I never felt like I really had a voice growing up. And, um, once I was out of college and like started working and having my own money and not being dependent on anybody. And I realized that I was being kind of controlled in that way. I realized I didn't need to talk to anybody. <laughs> like I didn't, I didn't have to have, you know, friends. I didn't have to have boyfriends or parents that treated me bad because why? Like, why would I need that? So I kind of went through a big shift, um, after college and just kind of realized that you don't have to have people in your life. Um, and I've kind of stood by this ever since that you don't have to have anybody in your life just because they feel like they're owed it. Like you should only have people in your life who deserve to be there. And um, I know it's kind of cutthroat and obviously like do what is best for you, but it has really worked out for me. Um, and I feel very scatterbrained talking about this because there's so much I want to say. But basically, um, I decided to stand up for myself, stop talking to one of my parents. They got in the middle of a divorce. It got really bad. And um, I kind of got stuck in the middle of the divorce trying to settle it and get it over with. Didn't work out. And I just stepped out and stopped talking to one of my parents. So anyways, fast forward to now. Um, I... Let's see, I got married and then I started, you know, I was talking to both my parents at once, which was like very, very new for me again. And I felt like now that I'm an adult, I'm married, I think I was 26, 27. And I just still felt like I wasn't being treated like an adult, the adult that I very much am. I, I would like to say I'm a successful person. I'm very self-sufficient, like all these things. And I just felt like I wasn't being treated that way still. And I always felt like I needed to earn my parents' um, respect and love and it wasn't just mine. <laughs> and I don't know, I, I don't know how else to explain that, but um, definitely watching how other people's relationships with their families, like as I got older, seeing my friends, like being friends with their mom and being you know, being able to tell their mom stuff. I still to this like day have never been like, oh yeah, like this happened without feeling judgment from either of my parents. And I just felt like I really couldn't be me. And I feel like what I do for a living wasn't really good enough. Just a lot of things. And this again is just maybe how I feel they made me feel. It maybe is not what they think and that's okay. But anyways, um, I'm very proud of everything that I've done in my life. And where I'm at and who I am um, I went to a lot of therapy um, and I feel like that really helped me kind of get a backbone I didn't really have one I had a lot of confrontation issues um, just confrontation with friends with anything people um, Blake and I I had a lot of confrontation issues with like that and he's helped me work through a lot of that but um, now I'm at a place where couple years ago um, it kind of dominoed and I stopped talking to one parent and then shortly after stopped talking to the other parent and um, I don't know I don't really know how much I want to really share about it but I will just give a general hmm <laughs> a generalization if you will um, and as far as my dad oh this is gonna make me upset <clears throat> I think once I I think I really stood firm in my decision once I found out I was having a boy, a son, that the decision I made, I didn't really know why I made it in the time or fully why, but I will just believe in surrounding myself with people who are good people, people that I would want my kid to be married to, my kid to be friend with, my whatever. My dad is not somebody that I am proud of. Um, I used to really look up to him and I think 
as you get older, you realize a lot about your parents and you don't see them as a parent, you see them as a person and then you kind of evaluate them as a person, not like the immunity that they have as a parent, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how else to say that. Um, but I just started to see both my parents as people and then seeing how they treated me as a person, not like, as like, oh, well, you're their daughter and they're doing that because they love you. It's like, well, but they shouldn't be treating me like that in general or anybody. I also realized I put way too much blush on. So let's hope that goes away. Um, so anyways, I started finding out a lot of stuff about him, about how he treats women, how he treats people in general. Um, I was kind of the exception and I think both my parents are very good at masking how how they are around certain people and really good at reading people and kind of changing who they are and that gives me a lot of anxiety. I very much cannot be around an unstable person or environment and I really just thrive in which is why like someone like Blake is so great for me because he's very much just who he is and I don't have to read into things or figure things out. It's just very calming to be around. So yeah, basically my dad tried to basically date one of my friends behind my back. She told me and she was like, what is this? And I like, she was not at fault. And she literally told me right away, like, why is your dad hitting on me and emailing me and trying to take me on trips? And I confronted him and he basically laughed at me and said he'll do whatever he wants and I hung up on him and I have not spoken to him since it really clicked for me um his respect level for women his respect level for me a lot of things and it really makes me upset <laughs> shouldn't have been doing my makeup during this <laughs> and the reason it makes me upset is because it's not an easy decision to make in general really upsetting to kind of know that your perception of someone was actually very skewed your whole life and you're now seeing them for who they are and I think anybody who's kind of just been in a relationship with any kind of relationship with somebody where you then realize who they are and not who you thought they were it's very hard to wrap your head around and I remember for months if not a year or two I still to this day now am recollecting things and seeing them for what they were, not what I had perceived them as. I don't know how else to like explain that, but very hard. Um, I really look up to my dad and it's really hard to see. I don't know, maybe he's changed as he's gotten older. I don't know, or I've, I've just changed. Or I, I, it could be a, many things. He could have just been, I don't know. That's besides the point. And it's really sad. It still makes me sad to this day. I'm not like heartless and just like cutting people out and it's not easy. And I, I want anybody to watch this to know that like, no matter how much time goes by, it's really hard. And I'm going to ruin all my makeup. <laughs> so that was pointless. But um, let's blame the hormones for this. Um, I feel very, okay, I need to stop doing this on YouTube. The reason why this is upsetting is because I think you don't realize, like, I was, I was like, okay in my decisions. And then I think when you get pregnant and you realize a lot of things that are going to be different for your child growing up, like... You've made this decision like almost for them and I constantly go back and forth like, oh, is it going to be, you know, my fault if they don't have a relationship with their grandparents or am I doing the right thing by not letting 
him have a relationship with his grandparents? Like, am I helping him? Am I saving him from some, like, heartache? You know what I mean? Like, you don't really know what the right decision is. And I think I've just kind of decided this for now. It's not a permanent decision, and I think that's okay. I shouldn't be either way. Um, and I, I am going to obviously just take things as they go. But when I think when I like found out I was pregnant I really had to evaluate all of this and find out you know what I was going to do moving forward and I don't know I still don't really know what I'm doing but I feel confident in my decisions because the amount of peace and calmness in my life since not talking to either of my parents I don't have to deal with the stress and the drama and opinions and I can just go through my day and not stress every time I get a phone call because I don't know if it's going to be end really well or end really bad or whatever and I just like the calmness that that brings me knowing that I just have people in my life who are very supportive genuinely love me and just don't expect anything back from me um I think it's just what I need in this time of life and I really think that's what helped me get pregnant in the first place was just having supportive people um, around me and no drama and I think that's just how I want to keep it until this baby is here and I can like get all of my feelings sorted out but I just don't want to make any decisions while pregnant before a baby's here because I made these decisions for myself so and that's what's keeping me very like at peace and I'm just going to keep it that way until I feel otherwise and I just don't know when that would change um but yeah um I never really had an amazing relationship with my mom um from my perspective uh we fought a lot we aren't we don't have a lot in common we don't um we had a relationship, I think, for the sake of just being mother and daughter, but I didn't ever feel like an equal. Even as I got older, I still didn't feel like that. Um, and I just, I don't, like, I, I eventually just got to a point where everyone in my life is at an equal playing field in my mind. So how you treat me is, like you get no special treatment based on your title in my life if that makes sense and I just maybe this is just how my brain works but you know regard if Blake treated me the way my parents did I wouldn't be with him so why would I let my parents have a or my friends or literally anybody um in your life if you wouldn't marry that type of person then why would you let them be in your life it's it's that simple to me um would you want your friend married to that person? Would you want, you know, your friend to be in a relationship with that kind of a person? That's kind of just, I just, that's what I think is right. And you don't owe anybody anything. It's not my fault that they gave birth to me and then I don't owe them a relationship. Um, I think you should earn them. And friends, I don't care if you've been my friend for 20 years. If you treat me like crap, I'm done. Like, I just can't do that anymore. And we have such a short time on this like earth. I just don't really, I don't know. You have a short time. Why spend it giving your energy and giving people free passes to not respect you and treat you well? I just, I don't, I can't, I don't get it. And I, I don't know. So that's just kind of how my brain works now. Um, I think for a long time, I didn't really think for myself and I, I was in a couple abusive relationships with guys and I think a lot of that has to do with um, my lack of voice growing up and you kind of attract those kind of people and a few of my friends were kind of you know controlling and I just saw a pattern there and I had to really look at well why am I letting these people walk all over me why am I letting these guys not treat me well when I wasn't doing anything to deserve it I was just working and doing my own thing and I would be in trouble for a shirt I wore or be in trouble for the way I 
talked or like who knows so but I just didn't know any different because I grew up in an environment where you had an authority and you had to do what they said and I there was no like equal anything and I don't think kids and adults are equal but I think as humans you are so I I never got a lot of explanations um and I'm just very much in a different place in my life now uh, and I'm gonna try to finish my makeup and I hopefully I didn't ruin too much of it but I just really um hmm, I just don't really believe in having relationships with literally anybody if it doesn't serve you doesn't make you happy um I really like being around people that I don't have to guess if they're mad at me or guess if they I said something like I I really just want to be myself and be sometimes I say things that like are offensive because I did grow up with like a brother and a dad who like you just you kind of like would pick fun at each other and I've realized like the people that I can't do that around or whatever so obviously like it's not all everyone else's like problem to like be the perfect friend for me like I'm still learning a lot of this stuff about myself and learning can't say that kind of stuff to like everybody because it does hurt people's feelings or like whatever but you have to just be mindful of all of that and I just I just I don't know I think I've really shifted how my my mind works um, with therapy I went to EFT therapy which look it up it's like a tap therapy it's basically just a way to rewire your brain instead of always thinking like I always think everyone's mad at me because usually I was always in trouble growing up so I always think everybody's mad at me um if someone doesn't text me right away I think they're mad at me they could just be busy and like that's okay but I would start freaking out and be like hey are you mad at me are you mad at me and they're like should I be mad at you like why are you asking me so like I just I'm I'm trying to rewire my brain in a lot of ways and I I'm really glad that I did a lot of work on all of this and have made a lot of these decisions before um, the baby is coming. Um, I think a lot of these decisions that I made also helped me get pregnant in the first place because I was at a better place in my mind and my body was able to relax and I'm only around people who like make me very happy and I think that's a good environment and my body finally decided that that was the environment a baby should come into. So everything so far has really given me confirmation um, about decisions that I've made my body has told me a lot and I'm just I'm just very much going with my intuition these days and it's so far been great so I don't know I'm like sweaty I'm babbling and I just I think my main I really didn't want to do this video a lot of people ask me to and a lot of people want to talk with me about you know what's going on and I really appreciate that because I know it's really hard to go through it alone I would say definitely get a support system like I have Blake to talk to he's seen a lot of this actually happen firsthand um and couldn't believe the stories that I would tell him until he's actually seen them happen in real life and he's like okay because he just like couldn't believe some of these things that I would say and I'm like hey maybe I am crazy like maybe I remembered that differently and then it would happen when I'm still like 30 years old and it'd be like okay so maybe your parents aren't like you know treating you the best and so I just want you know I don't know I think it's it's like kind of these days if you say you don't talk to your parents people immediately are like oh life is short you should you know fix your relationship with them and I just think that's like a load of shit because it's not my responsibility to get along with them. Like I've tried, trust me, it's not easy to be 30 years old and have 30 years of a relationship with somebody and just end it. It's just not. Um, imagine dating somebody for that long and ending it. It's even harder with a family member and to constantly hear, you know, anytime I talk to my family, like my grandparents or someone, they're like, why aren't you talking to them? Why aren't you talking to them? But like, I don't even know how to like, explain and you just have to trust and trust yourself and you know it's not easy it's hard every day it's harder bringing a baby into this world and um knowing that you won't have the support around you but then I also you know on the flip side of that coin 
would it be harder to have a baby with grandparents that I don't get along with? Probably. So like I have to constantly, it's every day that goes through my brain and it's a struggle. Um, it's not easy and you know, you're not alone. I just think, I think you just have to do what's best for yourself these days. And I think that's all we're all trying to do. And I really don't think that my parents are bad people. I think they're just not good for me. And like, I don't know how else to like really say that. It's just, they're just not good for me. And maybe I'm the problem, like who knows? But for me, I, I just can't put up with that kind of stuff. And I think, I think I'm a good person. And I think if, and they're also like, I've tried multiple times to talk to my parents about a lot of this stuff and I kind of get gaslit and I think that's where like I stopped trying because I and Blake's always like why don't you tell this to your parents but like I have I might as well tell it to the wall because that's about how much of it's gonna get across and so that's why it's not like this was just a decision I made one day and just decided it like I have tried for my whole life to get stuff across to them and it just doesn't so I don't know. This might be TMI. I also just kind of like, if this can help one person, then I did my job. And, um, you know, I, I'm actually not the only person that I know that doesn't speak to their parents. So it also tells me that I'm not crazy. I also did put way too much blush on. Um, so I just, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm really sharing this. I just feel like a lot of people have been privately DMing me and... Maybe it's time. Maybe I'll regret this. <laughs> you know, that's life, I guess. Gotta make mistakes. I'm not gonna finish my makeup on camera. So I don't even know if it's gonna look okay in real life. But yeah, I just, going into motherhood, I'm going to navigate it the best I can for everybody. Um, I will say I'm very much looking forward to having nobody involved in my birth and like all these videos I see about how you should you know have boundaries when people are trying to come over like I don't have Blake's family doesn't live here and they're not coming over until March and then I like I don't have to deal with my parents like trying to come over trying to meet the baby like it's actually that's the one benefit is that I don't have to deal with anybody trying to be in my business Blake and I can just do this and you know come home from the hospital and be at peace and I, my friends in like my, my brother everybody's very respectful of those boundaries and so I don't have to worry about like grandparents being pushy um so that is one plus side to it I also just don't have to deal with drama um as much as I like used to so that's great but I don't know let me know if this helps anybody I don't really have any like other advice except for that I don't really have any resources except for therapy or talk to somebody about it. Like luckily I have my brother to talk to about it and I have Blake and I have, you know, my friends and some of them are going through something similar. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just end this here and try to fix what's left of my makeup. Um, but I am 34 weeks today, large. And, oh, that hurt. I can't really get my up. But let me know if this helps at all. If I should just delete this, I don't know. But stay peaceful, everybody. Calm is good. Love you guys. Bye.